So we're all turkey hunting. It's like 40 mile an hour winds. Look at this poor person's blind. We should go look at it. We'll have to cross the channel though first. Here's someone's turkey blind. They must have had a side here. It just must have been blowing over because the chairs are here. So we forgot the turkey cow, so I'm just basically going on a walk. I haven't, the only thing I've seen so far is some ducks and geese and these pelicans over there. It's super windy, like 30 or 40 miles an hour though, so I don't think cowing's gonna work very well anyways. So I figured I'd bring my turkey cows with them, it's really windy. Now the wind's actually died down some, but, or I'm just out of where the wind is, but I'm down by the river, just checking out the river right now. The river's pretty dirty. I saw like eight birds, but I walked up on them and I didn't have a shot at the tom. So at least I saw something. I saw a bunch of deer. So we're back out turkey hunting. I didn't see any birds this morning. We're hunting a different piece. I haven't seen much sign. I walked probably like a mile or two in my waders. So it's so dark out. I'm set up on this high spot kind of. And I'm just hoping they walk along the edge of this stuff here. And I'm going to hunt till like 7.30. We were out, we're out hunting tonight. I hunted a different spot than I was hunting. This is a different wildlife area. I saw a lot of game, but unfortunately none of the game was turkeys. The only thing I called in was a rooster. So, turkey hunting has went awful this might be the last one of the last few times i'm gonna get out turkey hunting i'm in the process of moving and there's a blizzard coming in this weekend so i don't think i'm going to be driving around much in the blizzard so anyways we hunted a different spot last night and didn't see any so then i'm right now i'm back at the spot i was hunting it's a river bottom we're going to hunt this evening and see if we see anything. So we moved. We we didn't see any turkeys at the first spot. We're not hearing much. This spot's kind of brushy. But we're going to hunt here to sit here for like an hour and a half and then head in. So we cleaned out my apartment and we're packing up to move. Here's the... We got rid of the boat trailer for Little Boozy because it was all messed up. And here's my other bolt, which is extremely loaded down. We're going to send her and see how it works. So, we just got out of Montana. Right now we're in Wyoming for a little ways. I had to stop and tie up the boat a few times. Otherwise, it seems to be going all right. This, this is going to be a long drive. I'm not driving super fast. I haven't been driving faster than 65, so I'm not in any hurry. So we're going to pack up our tent and then we're going to get heading southbound. Here's what this looks like. So, so we're in Colorado. I don't know, it's like in the central part of the eastern edge of Colorado, like probably half or two thirds of the way through it. We're driving through the high plains. It's literally just a bunch of corn and wheat fields. And no mountains like there's usually in Colorado. And we had to get some more tie downs for the boat because there's a strong southeast wind. So it was moving the boat around a lot. And I'm having driving slower because of it too. So I am moved into my apartment in Amarillo. As you can see, I have my John boat stored in my apartment. And then my other boat stored at an outdoor storage. I got down here on Monday. I made it on the trip. My boat was way overloaded, but I made it. I had to drive pretty slow though, and it took longer than it probably would have if I wasn't overloaded, but I made it. Drove through some hail, drove through some strong winds where it was really hard to control my vehicle. But luckily, everything I brought pretty much, except maybe a few clothes that blew out, made it. I had to add some more ratchet straps on the way down, buy some more ratchet straps on the way down and tie down the boat better. 
but we made it down to Texas. And I have done some fishing, but I really didn't catch anything worthwhile. And I'll post a video of that too. And also, when I didn't get a turkey turkey hunting in Montana. Granted, I didn't hunt the hardest because I was in the process of moving and revising this paper for a journal. So I really didn't hunt that hard. I went out probably like five or six evenings and one, a couple mornings. I didn't hear or see a whole lot of turkeys too. I only think I saw like eight birds. So it was tough. I also wasn't finding much sign hiking around before season. So that's how it goes hunting a new area. I just wasn't in the best area to hunt. See you in the next video.